Hello, everybody. Welcome back once more to Anime Yay or Nay. I'm the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Chibi New. And I'm NV Jitters. Yep, and this is... I keep forgetting what week we're supposed to be in. What week are we in? Uh... Six? Okay, six. It's like six or seven. No, you know what? It is six, because... Because whatever week we're on is the same thing that we're watching Kanata in, and everything else is different. Um, what do we want to start with this week? Because um, we watched we watched we watched uh, Copcraft five, Kanata six, mm -hmm. and Steins Gate five and six. Yep. So I think we've been starting with Copcraft lately. Should we just start with that one? Yeah. Okay. So. Well, now I forget what happened in it. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't really eaten today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the vampire, vampire thing. Why don't you guys go into that? Gav, yeah, take it away. Oh. Well, it was like a continuation of the last episode. Um, so you meet this vampire that was in a coffin that some dudes were smuggling. Um, and, yeah, so the... I guess last episode that someone like that they go and um, try to save the autopsy tech. Yeah, yeah, she was having and, a time of it. Yeah, and so now they're actually after the vampire, um, and the vampires in the city going around trying to kill people. Oh, and she can make her own clothes. Yeah, with her like. <laughs> magic she can make like a dress image thing out of like black flames yeah so edgy cool. so she doesn't look nude but she's really nude <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah i'm really basically. naked under all of this <laughs> yeah um yeah so they go and they're looking to kill this vampire lady anyone As else want to take it over um Gosh, I'm trying to, uh, she gets away, um, is running through the city, right, right, um, they have, like, they try to catch her with, like, the SWAT team and everyone, um, but she basically, like, gets away again, mm -hmm. um, and then she ends up down in the subway system where she meets this dude who is possessed by Zolata. Carmen S Sand Sandizidu. Dr. Carmen Sandizago. <laughs> yeah, Carmen... Dr. Carmen uh, Sandizago. Uh, anyway. But, um, so... Uh, basically, he, like, I think you just start calling her. him Carmen Zipdi Duda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, he asks her to join him. She agrees. Um, and then... I think it's like they blow her to pieces, like Kaya and uh, Talarna find mm -hmm. her and like blow her to pieces. Basically, like um, she's like dead. Well, how did they do that? Did they? I think the train hit her. Or yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. They kind of yeah, pulled a Hellboy she... with that. Uh huh. But she gets. Uh, but, like, it looks like kind of some of the pieces are still moving, so... It might I just be know. twitching. I mean, bodies Maybe. twitch sometimes. I don't know. She's a magic creature of some kind. Yeah. I feel like I missed a lot of stuff. Does anyone want to take over for anything I missed? Because I feel like I did. Um, hmm. the, the new chief doesn't seem as racist as we thought last week. Put up for oh. Talarna at one point. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, overall, mm -hmm. I thought this was a pretty good action-packed episode. That was, I guess, the main focus. Just action against the vampire. Yeah. I thought it was cool. There was also, like, a thing about, like, smelling certain things. Like, I guess, for elves, it's like your sense of smell is like a sixth sense kind of deal. And I guess... 
What's his face got a little bit of that? Cause he he knew right away to have a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Yeah. What you mean? Why wouldn't you want a good fire extinguisher? It's nice. It's hefty. You can hit someone with it. You can create a smoke screen. <laughs> What's a great improvised weapon? I mean, Sayaka used it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's an idiot. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no, good episode. Not much to talk about. <laughs> Not much. Yeah, it was wasn't very plot heavy for the most part. Um, mm -hmm. Like you guys said, mostly dealing with like the vampire situation. Making mm -hmm. sure that all of that is covered and... and of course, there's we, we did have little bits of mention of, like again, some of the racism that's going on towards the elves and whatnot. Because, mm -hmm. like... Not everyone's, some of them are going like, oh, you, what are you doing here? You don't know what you're doing, and blah, 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 and, you know, not giving people their fair shot at stuff, which, you know, that's mm -hmm. awful, but. <sighs> Hello, Houdini. Yeah. Hi, babe. And once again, Kay and Talarna, they have a lot of fun bickering with each other <laughs> throughout the episode. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that, like, that kind of has the, the show really does well as the bickering and whatnot but they work together well and i think that's no. the that's the big thing and that that's what's working no i, I think that theme star song is starting to grow on uh -huh. me a lot it's a very kinetic energetic kind of no. kind of opening i like it it kind of reminds me of like a theme song you would hear in the late 90s early 2000s for some reason i mean it, it, maybe it was intentional given the style of the show I got a bit of a Bacano vibe. A little more neon, but... Something along those lines. But yeah, I do agree. The theme song is growing on me more and more each week. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I like the theme song from the get-go, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, I liked it from the beginning, too. I didn't really watch it in the beginning. We had to cram three episodes in the first time around. <laughs> True. I mean... I mean, for me, like, when I start a new show, I always let the opening and endings play for the first episode if they have them. Like, because I always want to at least hear what it sounds like so I know if I actually want to skip it when I get to the next one. Mm. And if I like it, I don't. Yeah, okay. that, that's kind of how I am, too. Although a lot of times in anime, like, the... I particularly like the opening don't really care for the ending. Yeah, I don't have time to watch the ending. <laughs> I just I just skip. Houdini, quit crying. What does Houdini have to say about Copper? Yeah. <laughs> There's a cat in it. Oh. There's a cat like me. Yeah. He's well, jealous of the cat. Right. You can't watch anything with a cat in it, can you? No. He gets <laughs> jealous very easily because he wants all the attention to be on him. <laughs> Houdini needs to get over himself. Well, it's not even so much that. It's just even when I'm like away, he's like, he's like, give me attention, give me pets, give me love. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? I'm right give here. Give him pets. <laughs> oh. I'm still enjoying this for the most part. Um, yeah. it's still a yay for me, I think. Same. Yeah. Hey. Cool. <laughs> Did he bite we'll you? Watch next episode of that next week. He scratched me, little mm. turd ball. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> oh, I think dear. next week maybe we'll start getting back to the central mystery of the Ooh, Carmen. Uh, I think so. Shamalama Ding Dong. Yeah, Carmen Shabalapa Doop Doop. Uh, or what was I calling him? Carmen Carmen Zippity Doo Dah was uh, mm. was was controlling somebody to to try to recruit a vampire to do some 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 nasty things. I think. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if he yeah. comes back. I mean, he's obviously going to come back later simply because, like, I think they mentioned, like, it was, like, episode three or something that him and the guy, Kai, K, 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 like, fought each other in the war or whatever, so it's going to come around. I want some more background on the war. That would be nice, too. Yeah. I want... I want a lot of background information. I need things to be established. 
Yeah, I feel that. Because I keep mentioning things, I'm like, okay, I understand you're talking about it, but could I get a little more exposition? I mean, I don't mind, like, mini exposition dumps here and there, but I'm, if I have to deal with, like, an episode or two of, like, a giant dump of things, here you go. They might do like some backstory, like, whenever they're going to try and confront him again, and then Talana will probably ask him about his past, and then they'll probably slowly explain it. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I don't think they're going to spend a whole episode on lore, simply because, like, the nature of the show is, like, it's it's constantly moving, and, like, it, like you were saying, like, when we when you first suggested this, that it's it's constantly got those, like, to-be-continued marks. So it's, like, it's at no point is the story going to take a lull lull that it'll just be like, hey, let's learn about fairies. But I would really love to learn about <laughs> Well, I know you would. I'm just saying it's probably not going to happen. Sad, sad for you, Chibs. I just, I want, I want, like, how things work for the creatures and, like, what things they have in here that's, like, coherent with our mythology and what stuff is not because I'd like to have that there so it makes sense to me and I'm not complaining anymore. Yeah. Well, I don't know that you're going to get that, so. I know. <laughs> Season two! <laughs> if it gets there. <laughs> you know the old saying, six seasons in a movie. Ugh, I wish. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm assuming it's a yay all around for everyone. Oh, it's a yay. We're going. We're going to episode six next week. Yep. Okay. Move on now. We had Kanata seven. Ooh, yes. where the six. plot thickens. Six. Kanata six. six. Boy, there's a lot to talk about with this episode. Yeah, there so, there is. There's a lot so of character stuff going on. Not a lot of like because it's it's still mostly on the beach, which I like to. Like it's it's good on them. They were able to do a lot of character stuff without having to like go a whole lot of different places and and jump around and jump through a couple bunch of hoops and like that's decent writing. Well, Al, you, can, you like, finally got your tragic scene. backstory for Olgar now. <laughs> oh yeah, so many and things. Luca. Uh huh. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think it's a testament to like the show that it's like yeah we can just put these characters in one situation, just have them talk shit out, and it'll be interesting. Yeah, I was... I'm glad it was, like, a character development episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, like, wasn't really, like, needed to go and, like, have a flashback. It, like, literally just talked about things. Well, it did have a flashback. Well, partially, but <laughs> not no, it was there. in-depth. <laughs> I mean, we should probably talk what? about what happened, too. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, okay. so we left off with uh, Luca had a gun to his head yep. at the at the trigger finger of emo kid, and yep. uh, yeah. So as we thought before, that this had something to do with uh, Luca's dad being a politician. Yep, Olgar uh, believes that his brother, who was a journalist, his older brother, who everyone loved and and nobody loved him, but you know, his older brother loved him. He was the only person who was ever nice to him. He was a journalist researching Luca's dad, and then he mysteriously died, and it was ruled a suicide, but oh, we know that it probably isn't. Um, so Olgar wants to take revenge in some way, shape, or form, whatever way he could, against the politician, and he's like, oh, I'll kill his son. But that plan backfires. Oh, I want to I wanna talk Go about it. Go for it. it. I, I thought you might. Do it. All right. So, Luca's like, no, my dad doesn't love me, I'm not the heir my little brother is, and then Olger's like, oh, give me proof as I'd to, like... I'd like to point out that that as soon as he's like, I think your dad killed my brother, he's like, yeah, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, he does yeah. say that. He's like, yeah, probably, but, like, <laughs> we're the same, you and I, like, my dad doesn't love me either, and... So this isn't going to, like, help you killing me. And he's like, give me proof. And then Luca is like, hey, I'm, like, inner, like, I am intersex. And that's really cool. He's like, that he's an intersex character. And I don't think that's ever been done in, like, an anime before. Um, Cowboy Bebop. Okay, well... <laughs> 
<laughs> besides that, it all I comes guess. back to Bebop. But anyway, but um, Luca's like, yeah, I'm I don't intersex. think that guy was born that way, but. And um, and that yeah, but I identify as a male, so it was like kind of cool because it's intersex and like trans characterization. Okay, I was wondering about that. So, so he is trans then. Well, I was. I mean, he's technically he intersex. He, 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 biology. He's, a, he's a mix of a boy and a girl, but he identifies. Well, as a I, boy. I understand that. So, how does that work? Like, how can you be trans if you already got the parts for whatever you're being trans into? <laughs> I mean, because you're not like fully. Yeah, so. that's what I thought as well. But it's like, you know, where's the? I didn't know if there was a specific term for that other than trans, or if trans is just an umbrella term for all of it. It's just an umbrella term for okay. a lot of things. But, um, the more you know. But yeah, so I thought that was really cool. Um, and yep. So, um, and yeah, <laughs> I just really was excited about this episode. Um, now, was anyone other than me like actually seeing that coming? Because I kind of saw it coming from like a mile away. I, 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 I mean, there was times where I thought I'm pretty sure I called him a trap at one point in an earlier episode. So. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of guessed something about it, like, in the episode beforehand, like, which I wasn't there last week, so I couldn't say anything, but, right. um, well, the episode beforehand, I, like, had a thought to myself, like, hmm, I wonder if Luca's trans, and, like, then I thought, eh, but if this is an anime, they're not gonna do that, <laughs> but then they did. Lo and behold, um, the anime is getting more progressive. Yeah, and so... Anyway, Luca's like, yeah, my dad found out um, that he adopted, so, like, also, why like, Luca's adopted. Yeah. Um, that he, like, adopted an intersex kid, so he doesn't love him as much as, like, and then finally was able to, like, have a son of his own. Um, so the son of his own that came after this, like, his second child is going to be the heir so mm-hmm. yeah, Alger and him are like more alike than they thought, and then they're all like, "Oh, there's something about like there's another connection about us having shit parents." But I guess not all of our parents are shitty, so maybe there's some other way that we're all connected in this yep. like. Which did you watch our last episode? Yeah. Gav? Okay, so you ha- heard us talk about the clone thing. What's your opinion on that theory? Oh, wait, no, I didn't watch that. You didn't? <laughs> no. Okay. Did you know you didn't do your homework, Gav? <laughs> so, okay, I last... mean, I watched I watched the last episode. I didn't watch your last episode. Yeah, okay, you didn't so... have to watch the last episode. You all you got to do okay, All so... you got to do is listen to us. You don't have to listen to the last episode. Anime, yay or nay, every Friday. <laughs> anyway, so, like, our whole thing was we came up with this theory that most of the kids that are up there or at least some of them are clones of their parents Mm. which given the whole cloning thing um being banned um as they were talking about in the more parent focused section of the last episode um that we were thinking maybe like since a lot of them like either look really close to their parents or something else we were thinking like Maybe that's part of the reason why some of them are up there. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that theory. I don't um, know entirely how I feel about it anymore either, because like if they were gonna, if if Olger's parents were gonna clone anybody, they would have cloned the brother again. That's true. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's completely out the window. It might have been a situation of like, oh, we can't do this anymore, and then the kid died. <coughs> But, know. yeah. There may still um, be some water to it. Yeah. Anyway. Speaking of water, they almost that. drowned. Yeah, that's Oh, <laughs> and then yeah, that there's happens. a tsunami. There's, a, like, an earthquake and then a tsunami. And then... It kind of reminded me of... Did you guys see Interstellar? Yes. No. Yeah, the ocean planet is, like... They thought it was mountains in the distance. Nope, giant tidal wave. <laughs> which washes... Olgar and, and, and Luca out to sea. But there's a tree in the sea. 
and they grab onto it, you see. <laughs> well, Luca grabs onto it, and then he grabs onto Olgar. Yep. And Olgar... Yeah, Luca's like, you're my friend, I'm not gonna let you go, and blah, blah, blah. But Olgar's like, you, you don't have the upper body strength to hang on. Uh, you gotta let me go, and, and that way you can at least survive. And uh, so he gets, gets off Luca. It, if, oh, that sounded wrong. Um. <laughs> if, if I make a crack video for Kanata no Astra, this is where you insert the... Randy um, Orton out of nowhere? No, this is yeah. where you insert uh, Panic of the Discos, This is Gospel, and yes. like, the If You Love Me, Let Me Go. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was talking about later, yeah. Let me get to my meme throw-in thing later, uh, where Ulfgar's just kind of like lying in the ocean, he's just kind of floating there, and he's like, yep, this is it, I'm, I'm dead. But then, again, Randy Orton out of nowhere, Kanata just jumps out of the plane... <laughs> <laughs> and body yeah. slams him into the water. <laughs> I laughed at that part. Ugh. Yeah, he got them upper body gains. He's been lifting weight, preparing for this moment. <laughs> That's exactly it. Because like he, they, they, he slips. He grabs Olga. He's like, "Oh, that hurt everything when I jumped in the water." And they're like wrenching him back up with the pulley thing. Good thing they found that thing early on. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, Ol- Olgar slips again. He's like, "You gotta let me go." That way you can survive and help everybody else. He's like, uh-uh, not doing this again. I've been I've been getting swole for this for this exact moment. <laughs> yeah. And the swell is 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 real because he got him up there again. And they save Luca too off screen. No one gets confused. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, after Olgar wasn't like attached to him, it was just like, you know, hey, I can hang on to this tree pretty easy. Yeah. Got my head above water. Yep. yep, yep, yep. But then, of course, the yeah. end of the episode is the real shit kicker, and maybe one of my theories. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you did bring that up first. I'll give you points for that. I like, I'd yeah. like to get the, I'd like to get the assist on that because you just had theories on that. I had, I was starting to get proof last episode. Uh, well, I mean, they could throw us to another curveball next week, but so, so possibly at the very too. least. I don't know, guys. <clears throat> I think Guys. at the very least we can confirm Emo Kid is not the bad guy. No. Aga, but I believe I, and this is my own fault, I went on Tumblr. Oh, mm-hmm. no. You shut your mouth right now. I'm I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm not going to say anything. Not going to say anything. Don't say that we're I, wrong either. No. Because that's, that's a I thing too. I didn't. I got like a hint of a spoiler. Not the full spoiler. Jeez. Just don't talk about it. But how'd no. you how'd you get spoiled if it's being like released weekly? Manga. The manga. Oh. <laughs> you know. You what? forgot that were that you, was a thing, huh? Were you in the Kanata no Astra tag? Yeah. That's why you got to stay out of the tags, man. Mm-hmm. I know, but I was like, oh, I, I want to go I don't find do Tumblr. fan art. I want to go look at some cool pictures, and then I was like, gosh darn it. Why did I do this to myself? Rookie I'm mistake, like, but, Chibi. But now Rookie that I look mistake. at it, I'm like, okay, they out. that makes sense. <gasps> yeah. I guess we should explain no, why we're suspecting Char. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I was saying the stuff last week about uh, the biology thing, and he should have known about the, 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 the mushroom plant and all the others didn't like it. There's, there's some certain conveniences where it's like, oh, these bad situations are happening, and some of them revolve around things that he should be the expert in. Also, we have no idea what his backstory is. And then, Ares, who is slowly becoming more and more useful as a good... Well, first off, should we point out uh, what's-her-face? Kittery is... It just keeps trying to make love triangles. Yeah. Yeah. (sighs) Man, when you don't have Tumblr, you just ship anything. Uh, (laughs) She's... Well, now that we know Kanata is a complete idiot, Mm -hmm. a swole idiot, but a complete idiot... And and does not realize that Ares is into him. Yep. Kittery's like, well, go for go for Charles. He's he's a good looking guy, and, and no, he clearly is interested in you. He that. keeps asking about your eyes and shit. And uh-uh. uh, no, yeah, no. so she's like, hey, so what did you study? And everyone's like, oh, biology. But you weren't in a biology class. What? I, you probably just didn't meet me. I have a photographic memory. I'm like, yeah, no, I remember that from episode one. Good on you, Ares. No one knows where Charles came from. And then yep. he had that look at the end that was very much that light Yagami kind of 
I don't want to say all according to plan, because clearly this was not part of the plan, but it's very evil looking. He got something to hide. We're probably going to find out next episode. I mean, I don't know how we can't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Charces might be the bad guy. Maybe. We still don't know all the other backstories. Like, Zack, we don't know. We don't know about Zack, but... Again, all we I feel know like... is that him and Kitchery are friends, and apparently... Uh, There's going to be some benefits down the line, we know. Yeah. Yeah, Kittery wants him. <laughs> Bad. I don't know, I think he likes her too. Yeah, but he's not going to make a move. He's he's, nah. he's just a man of science. <laughs> I think. Do you hey think yo. maybe that's hey why Kittery is trying to set up Ares? She's trying to, like, date vicariously through someone else. Yeah, that might be it. That's sad. Be. Hmm. And this might be... But yeah, we don't... Time she's what? had, like, a female friend in her life because of how she was brought up. So maybe she's bonding. Oh, you mean that she's a bitch? Yeah. Well, but I, I wasn't gonna... Well, she was a bitch, I, I guess. Mean... She hasn't been that bitchy. <laughs> I wasn't gonna go that far, but... Yeah, baby. Don't... Yeah. Um... So yeah, I'm sure we're gonna get Charles's backstory and probably Zach pretty soon as well because we gotten pretty much everyone else's backstory other than I guess Ares, but I don't know that there's that much to her background at this point. I mean, we've seen her with her mom and the mom clearly has no idea what's going on, so she can't be part of the murder plot. Um, again, unless she's the sleeper agent, who knows? I don't think she is. But, yeah, probably not. Oh, how funny hmm. would it be if the sleeper agent were the puppet? That's what I keep saying. That's a, another one of his theories, man. <laughs> yeah. We haven't heard from the puppet in a while. I'm going to throw that out there. Maybe we got like a cousin it, not cousin it, a uh, thing situation from the Adams family. Maybe her hand is detachable and she's running all over the place doing shit. <laughs> her hand also has its own voice? Yeah, I don't know he, how she's making the old man voice. You want to explain that one, Chibi? You, you feel free to do that. She's got the ventriloquist skills of, of, of um, oh, what's that one? The ventriloquist. A Scarface. Jeff yeah, Jeff Dunham. I mean, she's got the ventriloquist skills of Jeff Dunham. <laughs> oh, God, I kill you. <laughs> God damn it. Yep. <laughs> If, it, if that puppet says silence, I kill you. I'm gonna just like, all right, mm, we're done. Best anime of 2019. That's it. I got the joke. No I got contest. the joke. We're done here. Any editors out there, can you make a no clip of that? No need to make anime anymore. Can you make a clip of that and send it to us? Oh, I guarantee uh... someone will do something with it at some point. It's a freaking puppet. I'll do it. What else do is there it. to do with puppets anymore? Okay, so obvious yays. Obvious yays. At this point, no, we I'm might as well just do like an I'm automatic yay. I wanted it to be Alfgar. <laughs> I think at this point... It's I wanted it like... to be Ares. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nay. We're not watching this next week. <laughs> no, we're watching this next week. We're, we're, getting, we're, getting to the, we're getting to the juice. We're getting to the juicy center of all this. We got like, what, two planets left before we get back to Earth? And, like, probably another six episodes, there's going to be a lot of stuff going wrong. Yep. A lot of stuff. Yep. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Anything else we want to say about this series before we before we move on? Uh, no. Alrighty. Steins Gate. Okay. Speaking of water, I, I didn't have a transition there. Uh, we did five and six, which is where we're, we're learning the deeper, darker secrets of CERN and all the blah, horrible experiments they've been up to, to doing to people. Um, again, we're not hip deep in the plot yet, so it's still a pretty character-y show. We got a little bit, not so much backstory, but a little bit more interaction with, um, the name escapes me, Shopkeeper Girl. Oh, Suzaha. Suzaha, yeah. Her. Yeah. And 
Uh, I just I just keep remembering her name is Shining Finger. <laughs> Moyo Moyoika oh. Moika. Yes. Moika. Yes. Uh yeah. No Luca. That would have been a good transit. Oh. That uh, there's a pun. I like to. Can I point out the last? You missed it. <laughs> can I? Can I point out in the last one? Whenever like after they're like after, Ruka was like, "Hey, I'm intersex and all that stuff." That they were wearing a T-shirt that said "Transient Love." Yeah, I saw that. Really, I didn't. Nice. I, I must have not noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it. It was in English. Cool. Well, how could you not notice? <laughs> cool. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, they did do some other, plot stuff, Ruka, though. They, Luka we we finally learned about D mails, and they started experimenting. Yeah, they name it finally. D mail. That's that's a fun. That's a college experience where it's like, yeah, let's let's figure out the name for whatever this thing is that we're. What's our group project gonna be? <laughs> Roundtable discussion, always good. Oh, all the time. Best, not really. And I also oh, like I how, um, so basically, with the emails, you can send a, a text, a short text back to the past, and that could, yep. and then the the first thing that Oke uh, decides to do with it is, well, let's let's send back winning lottery numbers, and, and Carisu's like, oh my gosh, how dare you? What? Hey, you had the power to change time. Did you say that? I don't remember that. Carisu got mad about Okabe wanting to cheat with water. I don't remember him saying anything about lottery numbers. Were you ahead of me? No, that was episode... Are you that, watching... That was episode six. Huh. I don't remember that part. Yeah. I do remember them just, like, going over different stuff. They're rocking the house every time, and, and what's a, Suzuha is like, ah... Oh. Carisu, you're Christina, you're a, ugh, sending you the evil vibes, and no one knows why yet. No one knows. And and Shiny Finger is just like, hey, I, I need this friggin' computer, man. Let me have this computer, man. And Okabe's like, no. Why? And then there were some experiments. That's, that's mostly it, I think. Like we said. Not a lot of plot yet. It's a yeah, slow building but show. The character stuff is is still fun. Okabe is still enjoyable. Karisu also plays off him very well. Uh, Daru's a real perv during these, I think. Um, yeah, he's a gentleman perv. <laughs> what else? Gentleman uh, perv? Is there such a thing? No. That's how they describe it in the visual novels. He's a gentleman perv. Don't okay. care. Yeah. It doesn't exist. <laughs> if you say so. Um. <laughs> What else? What other characters? So I think we had like some stuff with Mayuri a little bit. Uh, not a ton. Yes, Mayushi. Got to meet Mr. Bronze's daughter Nay for the first time. Did I miss an episode? I feel like I'm. You probably did. What are we talking? <laughs> like, wait, say that again. <laughs> It was in episode six when they they were doing more D-mail experiments. We got to see Mr. Braun's daughter, Nay, the little uh, ten-year-old. I did not see her. I didn't see her either. I'm like, did you watch episode seven? No, I watched episodes five and six. Hmm. Okay, okay, are we watching subs or dubs? I've been watching dub. Okay, I watched subbed. On Hulu. Hmm. Chibs, did you say which one you've been watching? Nope. Are you sub or dub? I mean, I prefer the dub, but I can't get my hands on it right now. So you're watching the sub? Yes. Where are you watching it at? Same place. Hulu? Mm -hmm. Was there. Wait, was there the daughter? Did I you see the. Okay, for some to reason honest, I wa guys, when I I'm just Okay, for some reason I did watch episode 7 and they Okay, I thought They listed so. it as episode <laughs> okay. 6 for, me I'm for like, some reason. There is no way that I'm forgetting this much right now. I apologize. Jenners, I think you just 
I think you just got a little ahead of yourself because you love this show so. I could have sworn I was. I, I, was, I could have sworn I was pacing myself for two at a time. I swear. Mm-hmm. That's all right. Well, now you, you the... just get to watch one episode next week. Yeah, even less. <laughs> but no. So yeah, we're mainly doing time travel experiments. We jo- we got another lab member. Suzuha is not in yet, but Shiny Finger is, and they're weird. Hi. Um, what else? Mm. I didn't write down the, the, the little quotes and whatnot this week either. Hey, I keep baby. forgetting to do that. Kitty. See, Houdini actually likes this show. Of course he does. There's no cats. Well. Huh? Should we explain part of the actual plot? Because, like, I feel like we kind of skimmed over the CERN stuff. Because that's an actual important element, and then they're then that yeah, apparently they have about that. they have cracked some of the code to to do time travel, and they're using miniature black holes and sucking people through them to send them back in time. And it's like squeezing all the water out of them, and that's what's creating like the gelatin yep. things. Yeah. So mm-hmm. jelly people are all over the place. Yep, yep. And the jelly man files. The, yep. They're just zipping into walls and whatnot and coming up all over the place in the past. And they're like, wow, we've killed 14 people doing this. Just another episode of The X-Files. Yup. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yep. We're going to get copyrighted for that. <laughs> yep. Sure will. It's okay. Yeah. You just got to play a copyrighted yeah, so. something over the copyrighted something so that way the two companies yeah. will fight each other and then no one will win. Maybe. No. You know what's weird? Like, I have mm-hmm. something like that and... Um, okay, I don't want to say because it's kind of a spoiler for episode four of mm-hmm. Madoka, but you guys remember the opening I made for it that I showed you yes. guys? Okay, uh-huh. that's that's like an unlisted video, so don't bother looking for it. But uh, yeah, it originally didn't have any problems, but now there is a little copyright thing on it. Okay. But it's for a song that that song is not. Like you guys know what it is, mm-hmm. but it. Uh, what was it? Which it got a copyright claim. For a Ray Charles song? Oh? That's weird, right? No, not necessarily. Because here's the thing about music. If you use, like, the same kinds of, like, not even so much, like, the same song, but even, like, the same, like, Yeah, the same chords. chords. I know that, like, you know, Ice Ice Baby, you had to pay royalties for pressure and whatnot. But that's not, that's the thing. I actually listened to the Ray Charles song. It is nothing like the song that we use. People use false claims all the time, too, because... Yeah, but it was a real company. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, like, people false claim to collect revenue all the time because the system benefits the copyright uh, people that... Yeah, but no one can view it. You can't make money off of it. It's unlisted. Now, my whole thing is, is like, have you disputed it? I don't have to. It's 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 a private video. I don't. I'm not putting it out publicly. Right. Hmm. Like it's just weird to me, which means it had to be an auto thing, because otherwise they wouldn't be able to find it manually. Right. Hmm. Interesting. So YouTube thought that the song that is not a Ray Charles song was a Ray Charles song and put the thing on it. It's not, like, shut down. It's just, like, one of those, like, hey, we're going to monetize this if blah, blah, blah. But I don't give a shit. It's not gonna. It's not monetizable because it's not public. Um, I just, like, wow, you're that dumb that you are off by, like, half a century almost for, like, when this song was created or what it is. Hmm. Exhibit 1012 on how YouTube is done. Kim, eh. Maybe we're dumb. We're on it. Well, and I mean, like, the system of YouTube. Yeah, no, it's all dumb. But, you know. 
Should we call this the YouTube rant section and list it in the thing at the beginning? I don't know. Special Easter egg for whoever wants it. Hey. <laughs> anyway, what else? What else about these episodes? I feel like um, I feel like we have to be getting to, to like bigger plot soon. Yeah. Or at the very least, we're gonna flesh out our characters a little bit more. I don't think we've gotten much with Ferris or Luca yet. No, they don't so come in until later. Yeah. Well, uh, we, we apparently know that we're going to meet a little girl next week. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to try to rig the lottery. Time travel. It's okay. It's all right. He just looked into the future. It's okay. <laughs> this is the whole show about time travel. I, 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 I came back from the past. I'm, 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 I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still a yay on this. I mean, I don't think there was any way we weren't going to be a yay. I mean, we all, I know we all like this show, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll do... Any final thoughts on that? Any final thoughts um, on any of these? Any last bits or bobs? Um, nope. I mean, it's not really about the show. It's just more like a comment. Go for it. Um, but, like, the, the lab scientists, like, their little group it just reminds me of like their friend group just reminds me of like our little group here <laughs> sometimes yeah. A, yeah i'm a way. i'm assuming i'm mayuri maybe i think so i mean you're small enough but <laughs> yeah. is she sassy <laughs> uh, i don't know okay well maybe Therese i'm the, Ferris the sassy of the group. one <laughs> she's kind of sassy i guess also cats. That's true. I mean, Al's definitely Okabe, so that means I'm stuck as Daru. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I like Daru, Why do you but... assume I'm Okabe? <laughs> what? I mean, you are the leader of the... Oh, shit. I'm <laughs> fu Cut that. I'm cutting that. I thought Gav was Okabe. <laughs> um... I didn't say I the wrong know. name and have to cut something. Don't worry about it. I don't think any of us are any specific character. I just think we're like them in ways. Yeah. Yeah, we're an interesting bunch. I did relook at some of our old notes from when we were first writing Madoka and that, and like we had like those Steinsgate ideas. I kind of don't mind the idea of re-exploring that a little bit, but we'll see how that all Let's pans out. Let's do it. Yeah. What's those Death Note ideas as well? Yeah. <laughs> well, now we've got that. That. Tokyo Mew Mew. We've got so many things. Who knows? Who knows if any of it will ever happen? That's true. I don't know. We'll get more time on our hands at some point. Yeah. Alrighty. I think that's about it for this week. Yeah. Um... All right. Oh, that person listened to loud music right out the window. I hope it doesn't pick up and do the blah, blah, blah. Anyway, all right. So I just got to make sure that you can't, you have to hear my voice over whatever this guy is blaring on his on his radio. I don't even know. Can you guys hear anything? A little bit. Yeah, oh, that's not good then. Okay. So next week, next week we're, we're watching Copcraft episode, what was it? Six? Six. Six, yep. I think. Cool. Yeah. And then Kanata episode seven, because it's going to be week seven. And that's how I'm going to remember that. And uh, Steins Gate seven and eight, and yep. yeah, that'll be that'll be the stuff and the the thing that we do, Bye. and perhaps perhaps we'll truly find out if Charles is the murderer, if the future is what everything that Envy said, and if if you know where in the world is Carmen Desposito. Um, yeah. Oh, he's gone. Never mind. I don't have, I don't have to keep talking. <laughs> Anyone else got any final thoughts, final words to say to anybody? Um, nope. Alrighty. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.